Hello and welcome to the Key to Vex File Guide. So basically you need to get 10 shards and combine them in a container. So the first shard we're going to do is in Saru and it's called the Keller Shard. Basically take a U-turn at the entrance and click on this little symbol there which will take you to the top floor and any of the mobs on this floor will drop the shard. And when you're done just turn around and click on the symbol to return to the ground floor. Okay, so for the next shard, we're doing the Lore Shard in Dawn Shroud Peaks. Now there's a cave just to the northeast here, which inside it, you'll see at the moment there's loads of sand batters. It can also be filled with uh, raptors called Brock Hoppers. Either way, all of these mobs in here will drop the next shard piece for you. The next shard is the Tax Shard in Maiden's Eye. These drop any of the named Gurungas. Uh, there's two spawn points here in the south, one to the west of my location here and one to the southeast. And then all the way up to the north, around this tree, is another uh, placeholder spawn point. Uh, so yeah, any of the named uh, Grung in this zone will drop the shard. So next up is the Dax Shard at Kiva Ruins. Now to get there, you have to follow around, be careful, stick to the sides of the walls because otherwise, as you can see there, there's traps that you can spring. Now in this area, all of the shadow reavers, the golems, the rubble rousers, the shaded stones, and Zai Zayu all can drop it. Also one thing to be aware of in this area, the Vadin is a raid mob, so if he's up and you aggro him, you will wipe your group. Ah, and while we're in the Keeper Ruins, that's how you to get the Shadowed Scepter Frame, which is the container that you're going to need to make the Vexile Key. So, uh, from where we were before, we're going to head east. Again, stick into the walls to avoid uh, any uh, traps. There's a lot of sea invis mobs here as well. But once we get all the way east, we're going to head north. Now these couple of mobs here you do have to kill, but then when you get to this room, if you're in this and you stick to the edge of the wall, you can get up round up this staircase. The mobs up here don't see in this. And then you want to very carefully drop down into the corner, not like I did, but where Flixer is. And then you want to stay in this corner and then you can cast magic spells on these sacrifice remains. Uh, once they die, they're all placeholders and they have a chance of spawning the Shimmering Presence for you. And then you give them a Summoned Wisp Stone, which spawns the spirit of Alkahira Ra, which you then give an Essence Emerald to, and he'll give you your Scepter. Uh, big important thing, do not say what frame of Scepter, otherwise the spirit of Alkahira Ra will just uh, despawn and you'll have to start all over again. Okay, so back to Shards and back to Fungus Grove. Uh, now we're going to go north here. Again, stick along this wall. And then there's up and you can avoid aggro in most things. And we'll get to the north here. There's a cave that we want to go in here. And pretty much all of the mobs in here can drop it. As you can see, there's plenty of mobs. At the start, it'll be quite a contested camp, but lots of chances to get a Shard. Okay, next shard is the set shard in Scarlet Desert. Uh, to get to this one, we're going to head all the way up to the north and then run round and up this mountain. And then pretty much all of these sun revenants and sun reapers up here have a chance to drop the shroud, uh, both outside and inside this little castle area here. So next shard is the Kel Shard in the grey. Uh, again, this zone is super, super dangerous, so stick to the zone walls. But we're going to head all the way to the northwest corner of the zone. And there, just around this little pool, we'll see there are some sun revenants that we're going to kill. And they have a chance to drop the shard. So next shard is the Vin Shard in Suraja Temple. First thing you need to do is get down to the basement. So we're going east and south 
then around to this big room here, portal, which we can swim down, gets us to the basement, and then we want to head south, best stick along to the water, you don't aggro anything, cross the main train lines, and then this little mine here with skeletons is the camp. The shard can drop off any of these skeletons. Okay, so next shard is Wrath Shard in the Deep. And now we need to follow around here. The mushrooms in here do see in this. We want to go all the way around till not this bridge, that bridge is an illusion. Instead, you want to go to the north. And then if you look to your left, you should see two pillars. And in between those two pillars is an invisible bridge at the Indiana Jones. And we're going to run across that bridge. Once you get to the other side, you want to take left and follow it all the way down to the south, southernmost entrance to the caves. And in here, the horror guard and the fort horrors uh, all have a chance to drop the shard for you. Okay, as you get further along in here, you'll see that the horror guards uh, go up in level, so you'll probably need uh, a few more people with you to kill them, but they still can drop the shards there. And heading back round the other two entrances to the cave in the middle and in the north that we're going to show you in a second. You don't want to go into those ones. One, because the shard doesn't drop there. And two, if you go too far into it, you'll trigger a raid event where you'll get swarmed by lots of mobs and killed. Okay, and the tenth and final shard is Veg Shard in Acrylia Cabins. Uh, first thing we need to do is go upstairs. So to do that, we're going all the way along to the west. And then down the south into this big room here. We go up the stairs and then you'll see the totem that we want to click, which will take us up to the top floor. And then pretty much all of the mobs on this floor has a chance of dropping the shard for you. Uh, in this room, you'll notice that there's some tiles with an odd colour to them. Uh, it's part of a raid event, but a portal can be uh, spawned there. So you might see a raid force running past you, but it's completely safe to you. It's not going to have any mob spawning out of it. Okay, and then once you've got all of your 10 shards, you want to combine them in your Scepter of Shadows, which is going to create an unadorned Scepter of Shadows, uh, which is another container. And then in that, you want to get the Rift and the Orb that the Guild's going to provide you with at raids, and combine that, and then that will create your Vex Valve Kit. Thanks for joining us for the Guide to Lift in videos. I'll see you on the moon. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. Aww. Oh, they baited us. They did.